This is Okanagan Sun Football with Ryan Waters. Hear it. Live it. Jeremiah was a bullfrog. Was a good friend of mine. The Okanagan Sun continue their search for the best talent across the country. General Manager Howie Zeron in the Sun program has attracted the eye of Jeremiah Hamilton in Chatham, Ontario, a defensive back with all the tools to be a BCFC All-Star. So what does Jeremiah bring to the table? A speed guy. I like to play physical. Mm -hmm. I like getting up in your face, bump and run, just doing a little nitty-gritty stuff, create turnovers, mm -hmm. play make. You are uh, quite a talented young man as you are coming off a year playing at St. FX. Uh, tell me about your experience there. It was a good experience. Got to play at a higher level. It's always good to improve your talents, playing with people that are good and pursuing your same goals, play at the next level. So mm -hmm. that was good. Learned a lot of new things. It was fun. It's a CIS level, obviously, with uh, St. FX. How much of a jump is that from high school in Chatham, Ontario, to playing at St. FX, playing at such a high level? The transition itself was, mm -hmm. wasn't was so bad. I played summer league at the uh, Chatham St. Cougars. And they prepared me pretty well, going through with all the diff defensive schemes and everything, learning CIS level playbook and stuff like that. So knowledge-wise, it wasn't that much of a jump, just the physicality and being on the field with guys that are three, four years older than you that mm -hmm. just bang and already have bodies of men. Mm -hmm. That was the biggest jump, just being a little bit more physical on the field. Yeah, no doubt. But you came with a pretty good resume before St. FX. You went to high school in Chatham where you were named Athlete of the Year across all sports, which is pretty impressive. Uh, did you know you were having such a good year in your senior year that you could win this award? It was a little up and down. My football season was we weren't just as successful as a team. Mm -hmm. Individually did a little bit good. So that was a little bit disappointing, not being able to repeat and make it back to the finals. But as far as basketball, I ended up... We won championship for basketball. I ended up playing a little bit of volleyball, getting mm -hmm. on the court and just being an enforcer, blocking spikes and everything. Mm -hmm. And then it was my first year doing track, so that probably helped out a lot. Mm -hmm. Actually running the um, 100 meter relay and 100 and 200 and try high jump. But <laughs> I can jump, so yeah. it wasn't so bad. I finished second, but hey. it was. I went through. A little bit of trying to learn. My right. technique was horrible. <laughs> like a duck that got shot down flying through the air trying to get over the bar. <laughs> You're a football guy, though. You're allowed to have an awful-looking uh, approach and high jump. <laughs> yeah. Obviously, you're a, a multi-talented, a multi-sport athlete. Uh, with all that kind of stuff behind you, why did you choose football? Why did you stick with football? Football goes back to a little bit. When I first started off in high school, I was way more of a basketball guy. I've been playing basketball since I was like three, four years old. Hmm. So that was the path that I would have liked to have chosen like before. Then getting into high school, being able to just release some anger, pin some <laughs> stuff, be able to hit people and act the way you can't when you're out in public. Mm -hmm. In public, you have to have that manner and be polite on the field. It's just be who you are, be a nut, and just enjoy everything and hit people. So just being able to go through that and dealing with passing away of my niece is just like, you have that anger, you don't know why or what stuff happens, but she's in a better place now, and it, it brought me to being able to play football a little bit better, being able to take some of that rage and feelings and put it to a, to a positive energy and being able to play on the field. Well, it's that positive energy and that physicality that the Okanagan Suns certainly love. What do you know about the Okanagan Sun, and how did you hear about this football club? I heard about it from Brandon Donkers and those guys from around here, from Scott and Kent. He's from Wallaceburg himself, but played with those guys in the summer. So I've heard about a lot from them. And did they enjoy their time here last year? What did they say about the Sun? Oh, they loved it there. They were, they had nothing but good things to say, trying to get me out there as much as possible. Every time they got a chance to let me know how good it is. Well, there's something else, that's for sure. What do you know about Kelowna? Kelowna, I heard it's a great city. Mm -hmm. Great lifestyle, great outdoors activities, just awesome place to be. If you want to compare Chatham, Ontario, which I am very familiar with, and Kelowna, British Columbia, man, you've got to come out here. It's, it's unbelievable. That's what I've been here. <laughs> You'll never leave. Well, thanks so much for doing this. We are uh, hopefully crossing our fingers and crossing our toes that you decide to come out here for spring camp, main camp, and for the season. We look forward to having you out here. All right, thank you. The Sun have high hopes that Jeremiah Hamilton will bring his talents to the West and wear the orange and brown in 2011. Sun spring camp is just a few weeks away now. Until next time. I'm Ryan Waters. This is Okanagan Sun Football. Yeah.